Good day viewers, Walter here. I'm out here on the porch today. Temperature's 52 degrees, it's a pretty day. And for a change, the wind is still, it's not blowing. My whirly gigs ain't a going. So we're out here to open a package of Yabo today. Yes, it's a little early today uh, to be out in the cold, but I got a, a viewer going to stop by and pick up a whirly gig today. I figured I'd go ahead and take care of my little Yabo here. Talk a little bit while I'm doing it. Let's turn on the GoPro. I don't think I'll stay out here too long. But I came out to get enough daylight to make this video. I have here a package. I ordered it from Amazon.com. Put my eyeglasses on. Uh, most of my viewers know I've been doing a lot of whirly gig videos lately. For lack of anything important and worked on those great projects. And thing with these whirly gigs. I got into the whirly gig kick by watching Todd Imps and I'll put a link down in the video in the video description for you to check his channel out. He's a whirly gig whiz. Uh, in fact, he's making one right now called the P-Wall Power Special. Uh, he took the idea of, he's using the idea of Gene Gnome, you know, my sidekick, and including him in a, a whirly gig. And what he's made is a whirly gig, or what he's making, let's take it back, he's not quite done. He's making a whirly gig with him. One of those hand carts on the railroad where you pump the handles up and down and make it go down the tracks. And the two characters pumping the hand cart are gnomes. He's carving them by hand. Y'all need to go over and check out his channel. Tell him Walter sent you. He's doing a real good on the one he's making. It's like uh, uh, an original. You won't see another one on YouTube like that. He's a he's got a pet bird. I can't think of his name. Like a cockatiel, cockatiel, one of them cockatoos or some kind of bird. <laughs> got a kick out of watching one of his videos there the other day. Was, uh, he was trying to cut some vegetables or something up in the kitchen and. The bird was picking them up and throwing them on the floor faster than he could get them out of, pack, out of the package. But it's, let's get to my Yabo here. here. I went, you know, I, I've been working on these whirly gigs and I wanted to make some functioning whirly gigs that, you know, actually do something. And uh, you can go on YouTube or internet and copy other people's ideas. I've been trying to think of something original and I'll come up with something if I don't get too influenced by other people's projects. You can learn from them, but I'll try to come up with an original idea. Uh, but in talking about my world gigs, I went down to the hardware store the other day and I want some little roller bearings. So, so I can have a shaft go through the to the propeller and less friction when the thing turns and you give it the ability to you put a crankshaft type thing on it and give whatever you put on your whirly gig the ability to move up and down or jump up and down whatever it does so I wanted some little roller bearings I went to the hardware store and asked them about it. Yeah, we got some. We went back to the nut and bolt department. It opens this little drawer. Comes out with this little bearing. 
about a quarter inch is what I think it was, quarter inch hole. They had bigger ones too. I said, well, how much is that bugaberry? He said, $13 and 50 cents. Well, you know you got to have at least two barons for a project. If you're making more than one, you're going to need several barons. You could tie up a fortune in this wordy gig business if you ain't careful buying people's material. I've already bought quite a bit in metal and glue and ink and coloring to do the coloring them. Bought some cutting boards. I bought little frogs and birds and other kind of critters, ladybugs to put on my sails of my whirly gigs that I've been making in the metal. So it don't take long to tie up some do re me in it. Anyway, I told him real quick I wasn't interested in the $13.50 roller bearing. I came home and looked on Amazon, and I don't I haven't looked at these yet. They might not be the right ones. But I got 20 roller bearings in here for $15. And if they don't work, I'm going to make them work if I have to increase the size of the shaft. They give all the measurements in millimeters, and I'm not a millimeter person. I don't know diddly about no millimeters. Now these evidently are roller bearings that, that are used on skateboards or something. But if Amazon can sell me 20 of them for $15, That includes the shipping now. That includes my shipping. Then the hardware store is ripping people off. Even if it is a different size, or even if this is the wrong size, the hardware store is ripping people off. Well, I'm hoping this will work. If not, I'm only out a little bit of money. They got these boogers sealed up. I bet they're full of grease. Oh, I ain't got it open yet. Well, by George, the hole looks a little bigger than a quarter, but it doesn't look all that bad to me. We'll make these booger bears work, sure as the devil. What is it? Want nobody to? I guarantee you they're gonna be greasy or oil. They wouldn't be so well wrapped up. Yeah, they look just like the ones he was trying to sell me for thirteen dollars and fifty cents. I'm going to tape measure with me, but that hole looks closer to three eighths than it does a quarter. What do I know? Of? We'll see. I'll just buy some three eighths round stock, maybe. I'm going to come with a little cloth. Oh, this is. This is a. Uh, this is cool. It's a little snap up top. I don't know how to open it yet. Oh, the rocket sign just opened the package. Maybe it's got a seal on it. I don't know. They don't want it to leak, that's for sure. I guess I'm. Um, if it leaked in the envelope, then it would pollute the mail. That ain't gonna work. Let's just keep pulling it. Okay, here comes the first baron. Look at that little booger. Oh yeah, that spins like a top. 
See, I want to incorporate two of these into a whirly gig. And if the shaft I got, I've got a piece of round stock. If it was too big, I'll increase the size of it with a shim or a piece of copper tubing or something to make it fit the bearing. I am quite satisfied with that. Would be nice when they sell you something if they sold it in inches of measurements that you could understand. I got my glasses on. Let me see if I can read what it says on the bearing. This is a brand name and a part number. I don't know how you would use these in a skateboard, but you know a skateboard's going to have weight on it with a person standing on it, so it's got some strength to it. I think it's going to work real good in my whirly gig. I can turn it very good with my finger. I want to design a bigger wooden propeller. It might even work with some of my plastic plastic bottle propellers, but we're going to make a wooden one. Anyway, I appreciate you listening to me talk today. And if you get a chance, go over to Todd's channel and check him out. This is P. Walpar signing off.